Hey everyone, how's it going? Kim here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a kettlebell kickboxing hit followed by a mobility stretch. So the workout is 35 minutes in length. We're gonna start with a warm up, then we're gonna go through 15 high intensity kettlebell and kickboxing moves. Then we're gonna hit the floor for a 15 minute mobility stretch. All you need today is your kettlebell and a mat. So go ahead, get set up, and when you're ready, we'll get started. All right, let's warm it up. We're gonna start with some hinges. So you're gonna hinge it here, lift, four knee raises, three, four, good. Slight bend in the knee, stretch out those hamstrings, lift it up, and knee, two, three, again. One, good. Two, three, Last one. Three, four. Let's take those arms into some big circles. Good, rotate those wrists back. We're gonna switch directions, bring the arms back and front. Nice work. Three, two, and one. We're gonna come into some hooks, so make a fist. You want those feet under your hips. We're gonna bring that elbow up. Good, hook, hook. Belly strong. Come up on the toe, pivot through your hip. For five, four, and one, we're gonna go into some side kicks. So side kick, center, side kick, center. Kick through the heel of your foot, down, release. Down. One more each side, then we're gonna go into some front kicks. Right here, lean back, kick through the heel again. Bend the knee, extend that leg. Nice job. Three, two, and one. I'm gonna go into some low impact butt kicks to start. Now, if you wanna stay low impact today, you can. I'm gonna show you all low impact moves. But if you'd like to take it up a little bit, I'm gonna take this into a running back kick. In four, three, two, here we go. Three, two, one, good, plant your feet, take it down to the corner, lateral lunge. Last two, and one, bring it center. Let's do some hurdles with those legs. Really circling out those hips. Fifteen seconds. Okay, we're starting with a kettlebell swing. So, place your kettlebell in front of you. Step it back. Your toes are forward. We're gonna do 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. Nice deep breath in. 
We got 10 seconds. All right, slight bend in the knees, belly in, hinge it. You wanna grab your kettlebell, pull it towards you. Here we go. Lower the kettlebell. Give yourself a little bit of space. We're gonna start in a squat and then come up and cross punch. So toes forward, <sighs> bring your wrists in, making a fist. We're gonna drop down into our squat, come up and punch. Here we go. Down, punch, good, pivot, cross punch. Shake it out, back to a kettlebell move. We're gonna do a deadlift to a power clean. <sighs> kettlebell starts between our feet. All right, we're gonna hinge forward, belly in, slight bend in that knee. <sighs> Here we go, down, lift, power clean, release. Pull your tummy in nice and strong. Drive those hips back. Lift. Okay. Next one. You can stay low impact by just going knee, knee, other side, knee, knee. Or you're gonna go knee, two, in, out, in, out. All right. Let's see if I can get that right. Here we go. One, two. In, out, in, out. Good job, all right, we're doing some thrusters. So we're gonna clean that kettlebell into a rack position. I'm gonna go into a squat with a press. Two, here we go, down. Other side. Whew. Take your recovery. You can see it like Bruce Lee. Okay. 
Five seconds to go. Okay, kettlebell to the floor. We're gonna do a bit of a combo. We're gonna do a jab, cross, hook. Stay on one side, then we'll do the other. So you wanna turn your body, bring your wrists in. You're gonna jab to start. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Good job, okay, other side. Shake those arms out, catch your breath. Wrists in, bend those knees slightly. We're jabbing in four. Here we go, jab, cross, hook, in. Jab, cross, hook. Okay, we're gonna rack that kettlebell. We're gonna do some up downs or you're gonna do some lunges, your choice. <sighs> so just like that thruster, I wanna get that kettlebell racked and it's gonna stay there. My opposite leg is gonna come down to the floor. All right, if you prefer, just step back and go into a lunge. So you can come down, down, up, up, or step back, lunge and up, okay, your choice. Good, we gotta do that on the other side. Ten seconds. Rock it when you're ready. Here we go. Place kettlebell down. I'm gonna do some shuffles. So you can walk it over, walk it, punch down, or you're going to shuffle, shuffle, punch. Okay, so it's two shuffles and a punch to the floor. 
Whew, five seconds. Here we go. Okay, hand to hand swing. And we're down on the floor for our last three exercises. So alternate hand or hand to hand swing. Start that kettlebell in front of you. Come on down. Here we go. down to the floor. Whew. We're gonna do some planks and we're gonna be tapping that kettlebell. So you can be on your knees or your toes, full arm extension plank. Whew. And you're just gonna reach forward and tap that kettlebell. Lift it side to side. Let's pull that belly away from the floor. If you're on your knees, you're right here. Still focusing on a nice, strong abdominal area. Good, drop down. Let's bring that kettlebell beside us. <sighs> Come to your side, hook that hand under your kettlebell. We're gonna roll it to center and grab onto the bell. Whew. So we're just gonna be holding the bell. We're gonna crunch and press right here. Crunch, press, center, release. Crunch, press. Okay, glute bridge with a lat pullover. Final exercise, you're gonna hold on to the handles of your kettlebell. All right, we're gonna lift into a glute bridge and then do a pullover. Four seconds, heels to the floor. Glute bridge, pullover. Bring it back to center, release the hips, lift. Yeah, guys, slowly roll over to your side, release your kettlebell, grab some water. We're gonna do a 15 minute mobility stretch next. All 
right, when you're ready, you're gonna come down onto your mat and we are gonna start on all fours. All right, so you wanna start with your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees are directly underneath your hips. We're gonna do some rocks. So we're just gonna rock it back and front. Nice and easy. Join in when you're ready. If you're still grabbing some water, that's fine. Good, rock it back and forward. One more time. Good, we're gonna come all the way back. We're gonna drop our head to our, the ground and we're gonna take our arms beside us with the fists, our wrists pointing up. You can have your knees wide if that's more comfortable in this child's pose. Start taking some nice deep breaths in. And nice and slow exhale. Good, slide those hands so they're underneath your shoulders. Lift it back up. We're gonna take one arm to our ear, so fingers to ears. Give it a little twist and center. Twist and center. Turn that chest up. Release. One more. Good, now take that arm underneath the other armpit, come down onto the shoulder and stretch out that upper back. And roll it back out. We're gonna do that on the other side. So fingers to your ears. Don't worry about how far you can go. You just wanna to try to rotate up and down. One more, lift, and then bring that arm down. Come on down to the shoulder and give it a stretch for that upper back. Nice big inhale and exhale. Good, let's bring those arms back. Again, hands under your shoulders. Now we're in a nice neutral spine. I want you to bring the shoulder blades together and drop your chest. Then retract the shoulder blades and push the chest up. Good, drop, shoulder blades together. Retract those shoulder blades, round through the upper back. Drop. One more. Good, from here I want you to start to round that back, bring it back nice and slow. And then as you come forward, we're gonna bring that hip down, come into an up dog. Good, round the back. One more. Good, 
good hold and bring it back to all four step one leg forward coming into a low lunge good place your hand on that knee and just rock it in and out bring it in Good, one more time. This time we're gonna roll it out so it's on the side of our foot. Hands are on the inside. And if you want, you can go down to your elbows. If you're feeling this already here, just stay here, full extension arms. Otherwise, you can come down. Good. Bring it up. We're going to slide that back leg in. Sit up nice and tall. Tuck that tailbone down and under. We want to get that stretch in through the quads. Good. Let's lift those arms up. Exhale, palms forward. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Good. Step both legs back. We're going to sit on to our heels, stretch out the bottom of our feet. Good. From here, bring your chin to your chest, take your hands behind your head, and drop your elbows. Look center, we're gonna step the opposite leg forward, coming into that low lunge. Good, hand up on that knee, rock it in and out. One more. Good, hold it out. Stay here if you like, or down to your elbows. Good, slowly walk it up, and let's come onto our glutes. So we're gonna start with our feet out nice and wide, sit up nice and tall, and I'm just gonna drop one knee to the floor, and then bring it back out. Stay on this side. Internal rotation with that knee, or that hip joint really, it's just the knee is driving it down. Good, two, and one, we're gonna do the other side. So drop that knee, and out. We're gonna extend one leg all the way out. The other one is going to bend and the foot's gonna to come to the inside of our thigh. And from here, I'm gonna take one hand either on my shin or on my foot. I'm gonna rotate my chest away from that leg, reach the arm up and over. You can stay here, you can come nice and low, whatever feels good. Just relax. Maybe 
Good, lift the arms. Now you can either come cross-legged or you're gonna take that foot, place it on top of the other hands in front of you. So you can sit cross-legged in this. What we wanna do is just start to walk our hands forward. Big inhale, keep those hips back and down. Good, lift it up, we're gonna do the other side. Leg extends out, other foot in. Hand to the shin or the foot, rotate that chest, lift that arm up and over. Lift that arm up, bring that other leg either on top or just in front in that cross-legged position. Again, arms forward, take a deep breath, nice long spine here. Exhale, see if you can just hinge a little farther. And slowly roll it up. We're gonna come down onto our back. So however you wanna get down there, take it nice and slow. We're gonna extend one leg out. The other knee is gonna come into our chest. Just hold for a second here. Good, then we're gonna do some circles with that knee. From here, I'm gonna bring that leg across the body, keeping my shoulders on the floor. Then I'm gonna turn my head the other direction. As I roll it back, I'm gonna hook that ankle on the other knee, bend the other leg, and then I'm going to scoop my hands between my legs, grab on behind the opposite hamstring, and let's flex our feet. Good, point the toes. Flex. Release that leg down to the floor. You're just gonna grab onto the inside of that foot and then pull that knee down into a half happy baby. Good, release it down. Extend that leg all the way out. We're gonna bring the other knee in. Hug it here, take a deep breath in. Exhale. Good, do a little circle with that knee. And we're gonna bring that leg across. Good, roll it back, hook that ankle, come into the glute stretch here. Let's flex those feet and point. 
flex and point. Good, one more. Release those feet, let's extend the legs all the way out. Arms over, head, take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, bring the arms down beside you, bend the knees, we're gonna roll over to one side, come into a fetal position, and then gently just give yourself a little push so you can come up to a seated position. Sit cross-legged, take a deep breath, inhale and exhale it down. You did a great job, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. That's it for me today. You take care and I'll see you on the next one.